thank you everybody for joining this webinar. I'm Jennifer O'Connell. I'm the content brand manager at Sync. Happy to be joined by Karen and Katerina and Mary Kay today. Karen Covey has been an awesome partner for Sync. She has a program about making agents wealthy. A lot of her clients have had success working with Sync and vice versa. A lot of our Sync clients have had success in her coaching program. So we wanted to get her and two of her top performing coaching clients together who have also had success converting online leads in this current market. So I'm going to go ahead and pass off to them to make introductions before we get started. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. And I love all the comments. Let me just tell you guys, I love college football, chili, fall sweater weather. I just love everything that you guys are putting in the chat. So keep it coming. I'm Karen Coffey. I am the owner and founder of Making Agents Wealthy. And it is a coaching company where we really focus on getting agents to that multiple six figure. I'm not really interested in the 100 plus. I'm interested in the 250 plus. So that's how I met Mary Cade. She is a team owner. I'll let her introduce herself, but really good to be here and can't wait to share some very interesting content with you guys. So Mary Cade. Yes, I'm Mary Cade Mannering and um, I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. And I went through Karen's entire program starting in the COVID year hmm. and was reluctant about some of the things that she wanted me to do. And I did them anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't cold calling guys. I don't want you to think that or door knocking. <laughs> it was not that. It was not that. It was, uh, it was mostly the team. But I did end up forming a team and absolutely loved it. It has been a game changer for me and my business and and really my happiness. So I have loved that. And Katarina is my star team member and mm -hmm. she's wonderful. So I'll let her introduce herself. Yeah, I'm Katarina Leaguer, also in Asheville, North Carolina. And I have been on Mary Cade's team for just over two years now. I met Mary Cade before I got into real estate and she helped my parents buy a house when they relocated here to Asheville. And I met her and I said, whatever that woman is doing, I'm going along with her. And so she told me to get my real estate license and join her team. And I did, and I haven't looked back. That's amazing. Yes. And Katerina is a rock star. She's going to be sharing some of the things that she's been doing on the team with Sync so that you guys can take it back to your own team, your own business, incorporate it in this market. Even if you have seen your market slow down a little bit, it's okay because you can still make money. This is not the time to take your foot off the gas. It is the time to lean in and maybe pivot, do things differently and do things smarter. So this is why Sync brought us all together so that it's not just me being a talking head. It is, I'm going to let Mary Cade and Katerina do most of the talking. Jennifer and I will be asking them some questions. I just want to lay some framework that in the downturn of 08 and the, the banking crisis, that's when I became a homeless single mom because I was that agent that didn't know how. I didn't know how to pivot. I didn't know how to change what I was doing. And I used to think I knew everything. And I realized very quickly as I lost my home, my car, the whole thing that I didn't. And so I was determined to do things differently. And in that down market, to be honest, I just sat down and I just wrote out some things that, okay, what can I do differently? I'd like to say that I'm the smartest girl on the block, but I'm not. It was through prayer and meditation, quite honestly, but we're not going to get into that. And, and got these downloads. I started coaching other agents and saw them just skyrocket. I was able to do a hundred K in a hundred days in a brand new market where I didn't have anyone sphere of influence, and then went on to do just under half a million for that year. People started asking me to help them. And I have such a heart before I got on this call today, I was like, how, what can I leave with you today? That's going to change your life. What can I say that might just be one thing that you can take with you? This isn't about it is about sync and it is about us, but it's not, it is about, it can be very frustrating at this time when the market just seems like it's fallen out in some places, not in all. So when Mary Kate came to me, she came to me, like she said, in COVID, she came to me and she was doing well. She had made about 130,000 for some of you, you would love to make that. 
but she was wanting to do more. She joined Making Agents Wealthy, which is my front end coaching program. And she just closed out last year at 650,000. So these are the numbers that are very doable for you. These are numbers that you can absolutely, and sync is one of those things that we incorporate, but we do it in a way that we make sure you're getting that result. So with that, we just want to talk about one of the first things I'm going to ask uh, direct a question to Mary Kate about mindset. Before I do, I just want you guys to know that you can join every coaching program in your marketplace, in your in the world, and you can have the skill set. But if you don't have the mindset, that's really what's going to help, not help. That's what makes you the money. Can I get an amen in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So again, the things to do, guys, thank you for putting that in the chat. I love it. <laughs> I love seeing that engagement. Yes. So you can't, your broker tells you, your coaches tell you, everybody, you know what to do. And you're sitting there going, I know what to do. Check. But look, guys, if you're not waking up every single morning with your head in the game, excited, knowing exactly why you're doing something and the impact that you make, because you are making an impact, even if you think I don't have any business, or maybe you're impacting agents in your office, or maybe you have a team and you're impacting those agents every single day. So it's super important that mindset is part of your game plan. So I just wanted to toss it over to Mary Kay. How have you used mindset with your team or your life? Or what would you say about that? I love that question because as Katerina knows, mindset is my favorite part of the whole thing. Yeah. I really, one of my favorite things that I got besides the incredible systems and all the really practical stuff from your coaching the mindset piece really supported that the the practical knowledge piece and then the mindset piece really supported that and helped me be able to implement and move forward with that and it was so important for me um, to get through my mindset uh, blocks and to shift those patterns that when i started a team i decided that was going to be one of the most important things that i was going to do with the team I am big on mindset. We have a team meeting every week and we start with celebrations and then I do a mindset piece. And I don't know if they get sick of hearing it or not, but I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> I love and it. I do one-on-one -on -one mindset coaching with them. And my objective in having this team is really that I want people on my team who want to be there, who want to learn, who want to be living their best life, not just in real estate, not just making the money, but living their best life holistically. Yeah. And so if I can support them holistically in their life and their lifestyle and their family and their business and making all that work together and helping them clear their blocks, then I can help raise them up to the level that they want to be and creating the life for themselves that they want to be having. And mindset is just a huge piece of that. That's huge, Mary Kate. You've taken, yes, I'm in real estate. I'm making money to, I have a purpose and a passion around this, that they're living their best life. And I have seen you in action and those aren't just words for you. That's like real. Yeah. Katarina, how has it been for you <laughs> being, you came, got your license, you joined the team two years ago. How has mindset been for you under Mary Cade and then how you take that out into the world? Yeah, it's been, it's a new perspective. It was a fresh perspective. And I feel like even if I had heard it before, this was an opportunity for me to hear it in a different way and hearing it coming from this opportunity to use real estate as a vehicle to be my best self and to share my gifts with the world and to genuinely connect with people. I'm all in. That's like speaking my language. And I really appreciated how Mary Kate always wove those themes throughout all of our meetings and all of our interactions. And anytime myself or someone on the team started to creep in with those little the itty bitty shitty committee, right? It's right. 
it's an opportunity to look at that and to talk about that. And we, as a group, would support each other to dig a little deeper and ask maybe some uncomfortable questions. That's great. You just made a great point in that when you have someone else, whether they're maybe you're not on a team and you're in an office environment, and yet that negative Nancy, the itty bitty shitty committee, whatever you want to call it, comes in. <laughs> and if you're on a team, guys, you got to get rid of that immediately. It's like cutting out a that sore on a bad apple, that rotten piece. You've got to cut it out and you got to cut it out fast because that can that will drain you personally. It will drain your team and it will just shift everything to, oh, the sky's falling, the sky's falling, the sky's falling. You've got to catch that and you've got to catch it quick. And I'm not talking affirmations. I'm talking real living a, a, a life that is committed to living the best life living that mindset piece of, no, this is where we're going to stay. This is where we live. We either live at this vibration or we live at this vibration, right? You guys in the chat decide and tell me, but you want to live up here. So you want high vibration or you want low vibration, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care what you put in the chat. Just put something, make that commitment today that you're going to be committed. Awesome. Yes. Are you going to be living? Yes. Hi. I love it. Thumbs up that high vibration? Or are you going to be like, oh, I'm going to let every wind in the office sway me. I'm going to let every member on the team sway me. Or if you're a team owner, I'm going to let my team, I, I'm just, I'm here to make sure they're happy. No, no, you are the leader. You are the CEO of your own business, whether you're alone or you have a team or four or five. Uh, yeah, go let ahead. Me just jump in and add something to that. That is something that I pay attention to when I interview new, new team members. Mm. <laughs> and if I see that, if I see the wrong mindset, I can work with somebody who has, but if I see that right up front, I just know that is not a fit for um, the culture that I'm building. And the culture of my team is the most important thing to me. I have people on there who they support the culture that I'm building. And, and that culture is a lot about mindset. And then one other thing I wanted to throw in was, I always say that your business is a playground for your soul. Mm -hmm. So I love it. being in business, having a business, whether you are a solo agent or you're on a team or you're building a team, the way that you show up in business, the way that you do business, the choices you make, the way you show up in the world, business is a playground for your soul to learn and grow and expand and push yourself. Write that down, guys. Your business is a playground for your soul. It may not resonate with you right now, but there's going to be a day that sticky note's going to be on your laptop and you're going to be like, wow, I can choose to make this the playground. Wow, we're getting woo-woo. No, but <laughs> the playground of our soul. And it really is and can be, but culture is so important. Not letting anyone take over, take that away from you. So that's awesome. So Jennifer, we were talking about mindset and I know you wanted us to get into the nitty gritty a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, mindset, obviously huge. And I think talking about that first is why we talked about it first, because it's so important, but just as important, I think on the tactical side is having like repeatable systems in place, at, especially in this uncertain market. Like I think if you're confident in your systems, that makes a huge difference. So I was hoping you all could speak to the systems that you use in your business what's working for you, making a difference for you and your clients. And then I guess, particularly with online leads too, what systems work there? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. If you don't have a system and a system is not just one thing, in my opinion, you have to have many things and that they all stack one upon the other. So in a down market like this, when things are going well, you just show up and people use you, you make money and it's great. In this type of environment where the rates are so high and no one wants to buy and people don't want to sell because they can't find a home, there are systems and quite frankly, going back to there's just education that you've got to educate them with. You can get a rate at 5%. There's a certain way to do that. It's a system. There's a system in relating to online leads, what you say, how many times you reach out to them, what you say when you reach out to them, because you don't want to sound like everybody else that's out there that's struggling to find business. So for me, there are several systems that stack one upon the other, but it's not 
the the contents of the system it is actually what you do with those contents so mary Cade, what do you feel is are some systems or something that you just love that you've implemented in your business the way that i look at systems and of course i learned from you and i did what you said <laughs> <laughs> i um, love that <laughs> the way that I look at it is rather than stacking up on top of itself, I look at it as more of a wheel so that your business mm. is the center of the wheel and your systems are spokes along the wheel. And if one system gets wonky, your business is going to go wonky. Like yeah. you can't build a whole business on just sync leads and not do the rest no. of the systems to gain leads and to, to access other business. You can't just build your business completely by going out and networking it you have to have the spokes on the wheel to keep your business in yes. balance and going around so the the systems that you taught to me and I have implemented into my team and provided for my team are really valuable these are systems that when I was and I wasn't solo agent for 25 years however long it's been but I I had to figure all that out myself I just threw trial and error. What am I going to do? What am I? How, let's try this. Let's try this. Throwing money at things, seeing what sticks, seeing what doesn't. A lot of it didn't. And then that was what I loved so much about you showing me how to set up a team and showing me how to put these systems in place, implement them, and then pass that information on and provide that for agents to say, hey, you're a brand new agent or you're coming from somewhere else. Come, come over here. Let me show you how we do this. Let me teach you how to work these systems and how to build a business that is sustainable. Yeah. So absolutely. that the sy systems to me are just are crucial. They are crucial. They're the most important thing. And the one thing about Katarina is that she took a system that you provided for her. Now, Sync is not the only one we know as far as a platform, yes, I will tell you. Sync is the only online lead system that I recommend. Now, that may sound salesy to you. It may sound like, oh, she's in Kahoot. I'm not. I never, I didn't know Sync. I, I used every online lead platform out there for my own business when I did that half a million in my first year in a brand new market because I didn't have a sphere. I needed to do something. So I got them all. I got them all. And I got a lender to sponsor, a different lender for every platform. And I said, which one is going to be the best? Which one is going to provide the most income to me? So what, after I vetted all of them, Sync rose to the top, head and shoulders above all of them because of the systems that they have that I don't have to worry about, but it was a higher quality of lead. So it is the only platform like, yeah, we talk about database, but what do you say to the database? How do you re-engage a dead database? And all of these systems that you can go down a rabbit hole with coaching at a later date. Today, we're talking about online leads. The one thing that Katarina did, she came in with the right mindset, the right attitude. And Katarina, I would love for you to maybe share with everyone what, when you get this online lead, because everybody's like, oh, the leads stink, right? Online leads stink. Tell us a little bit about your mindset, your system. What do you do with these leads? I, I think that that's just a little peeve of mine is hearing people say that these aren't quality leads and all of that. And it's, it takes time and it takes practice. And like you said, it's the system. So Sync has amazing systems set up and they tell us what to do. They tell us when to call and how to call and what to say. And I think that the machine breaks and people want to, we break the machine and we say that the machine is broken, but it's us that doesn't want to do the work. So I think when we continue to push through and that's where the mindset helps, because we have to keep ourselves, we have to keep ourselves going because we're going to get a lot of no's and we're going to get a lot of hang ups and we're going to get a lot of weird responses and all of that. But we have to keep remembering that there are, and Mary Kate always said this and says this that there are people out there that need our help and there are people out there that want our help. And so if we let the people that are having a bad day and take it out on us or the people that hang up on us or the person who puts in one, two, three, four, five, six is their phone number. If we let them stop us from getting to the people that need our help, then 
we're doing a disservice to the world and we're not giving our gifts and we're not showing up fully. So I think that's, that's the intersection of the work and the systems and the mindset. And we have to keep checking ourselves because mm-hmm. it's, it's too easy. It's too easy to blame it on sync. It's too easy to blame it on the person. It's, it's too easy. And, and yeah. people that are successful are the ones that are willing to do the work. Yes. It's wow. Too easy to blame everything else other than ourselves. And what you found and discovered, this is for everybody that's listening. Don't take that easy route because sometimes you have to take responsibility. There are people out there that need your help, like Katerina said. And we're looking at going, oh, hot mama and hot male and one, two, three, four. Are we going to let that rule our destiny and the people that we're here to help? And Katerina, you go, no. So how do you keep yourself in that game of not the game, but that positive. Well, it's a little bit of a game, right? It can feel yeah, like it is. sometimes it's the team, right? It's, it's knowing that there's accountability. I think we have to find, we have to find some humor in this job. We have to find <laughs> our outlets. I think we all have something else besides real estate in our life that fills us up. And Mary Kate is always such a big proponent of put your phone down. And I know Mary Kate's what fills her cup is going out into nature and being outside and taking walks and just really appreciating the beauty and the awe in the world. And I think that's, we have to come at this business with a full cup. This business is stressful and it's hard and it, and it is just face to face with every type of person that exists in the world. And so if we don't have strategies for filling up our own cup, then we're going to get, we're going to get out of this business real quick. And we're going to start to find things to blame. Well said, because the people that come to this business empty, everybody knows who they are, right? Raise your hand. If you know who they are, Mm -hmm. (laughs) they are, they come to this business empty and there's just nothing that overflows. Um, The overflow of the heart is what comes out and it is, it can be so negative. So Katerina, what you get a lead. I love how you explain this, how you say that we're losing a client in the first 10 seconds or 30 seconds, or explain to everybody listening, because this is gold. What do you do with that lead? What do you say that keeps them engaged? Why do they use you? Because you have such a solid track record with converting these leads. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is to not ask yes or no questions. And the biggest thing is to ask open-ended questions and to get them to talk. And when I can get somebody to to talk, there's usually in those first 10, 20 seconds, a little nugget that I can hook into. Oh, you're from Ohio. That's so great. My mother-in-law actually lives in Ohio and we were just out there last week. It's so beautiful this time of year. Just tiny little things like that that have nothing to do with real estate because there are a lot of websites out there and there are, these people are logging into every online website that they can and AI is everywhere. And so people want to know that you're a real person and just to create that connection with them quickly. And I've found that if I can do that, then I'm able to say, What's making you look in the Asheville area? What's making you look in my area? Have you been here before? When are you planning a visit? Just keeping them talking about themselves and asking open-ended questions. Beautiful. Now, do you do a phone call? Do you do a email first, a text? What is your system around that? When a lead comes in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, call. Call. The lead gets called. Sync says in the first five minutes, obviously, leads come in all anytime during the day and so I the best practice is to call it 8 30 in the morning and for our market it's around 4 30 in the afternoon and there's plenty of days where I can't make that happen I have two young kiddos and I take them to school and I pick them up and things are going on so sometimes I call my leads at noon but I try to I always call text and email a new lead at the same time and then just mm-hmm. work the work the system. Keep calling. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to the agents that are watching this or listening? 
they're nervous. They have this call reluctance. Their hands sweat and get clammy. They can't seem to pick up that 500 pound phone. I try to imagine that this person wants to talk to me, that I'm not bothering them. And Mary Kate always says they came to us and they, they logged into our website. And so I like to think clearly we already have something in common. We both like looking at houses. So <laughs> I really, I feel it in my body and it's, it's in my words and it's in my tone of voice that I'm excited to talk to them. And obviously not every person wants to talk to me. I get that, but I just have a mindset that very, the, these people want what I have to offer and they can say, no, thank you. And they can hang up and that's fine. And I'll just move to the next. So that's the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. If you have, I don't know, the most memorable story, I think that's encouraging for clients and prospects, but also just people calling these leads who maybe are scared. Like what's the most memorable online lead story you can think of off the top of your head? Okay. So I, yep. Uh, it's funny. Like so many flashed through my head. I was like, oh, I feel like I've met so many great people on here and just had some fun conversations. Honestly, the very first sync lead that I closed was a woman who I swear to goodness, she was falling asleep on the phone and I was new in this business and I just stuck with her and I just kept Hey, are you still there? And I'm thinking to myself, what am I doing with my life? What is happening here? And <laughs> it turns out that this woman had been up all night with a migraine and she had been hung up on by other agents. And she had a certain dialect that just, she just came off as someone who wasn't going to buy a house. I think in the first immediate, I stuck with her and she had worked really hard the past year to get out of debt. She didn't have a whole lot of money, but she had been educating herself and she just needed somebody who was going to meet her where she was at. And I really feel like she was waiting for me. She needed me to listen to her and to help her. And it was so fulfilling to have that conversation with her and meet this woman and hear her story. Because on the surface, this is not who we think of as someone who's going to buy a house. And we looked at a lot of houses. It was during the peak of the market with not a lot of money and a USDA loan and not a lot of due diligence and a lot of things against us, but we just kept at it and they bought a house. And Katarina changed their lives. Totally <laughs> changed their lives. You did. Sure. You did. I, I mean, think that wonderful to see. Yeah. And you said to me, Mary Kay, they're so lucky they got you because I I had the patience and I had the, I was new and they didn't necessarily know that I was new, but I just really felt like I was going to grab them by the hand and we were going to go do this together. And we did. Love that. That is beautiful. Now, what is the fastest lead you ever closed, sync lead, like from inception to contract? <laughs> Mary Kate's got that one. Oh, okay. Mary Kate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a good story on that one. I had been working, this was before I did my team and I was working sync all by myself mm -hmm. and was a little overwhelmed and some days are better than others in your mindset. And I had maybe was, had been getting a little discouraged and I, but I was just, I was plugging away. Cause I was like, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to show up every day. I'm going to keep doing what I'm supposed to do. So somebody calls me and says, Hey, we're coming to Asheville tomorrow and we need to buy a house. And I said, okay, fantastic. And we had a little conversation and I found out what they were looking for and what they needed. So I set up four houses for them to see and set up an appointment for the next day, went and picked them up. We saw four houses and they bought one. <laughs> 24 hours from phone call to contract. <laughs> that yes, was great. They're not all bad leads. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> That's a fun one. And we've had several, I think Katarina has and other people on the team have had several that they buy one thing and then they buy another one. I've got uh, one of my um, agents just closed one. They bought an investment house and now they immediately want to go buy another investment house. And Katarina's had one. You get a lead, you get this lead and then it leads to this business and referrals and they just... You never know. That's what I always say is you never know who's on the other end of the phone. 
So, so keep digging, keep that mindset, keep, keep making the call. They want to talk to me. I'm impacting somebody's life. It may not look like it for these 50 people, but that 51st one, that's the one, right? Yeah. That might be the one, but you guys have the heart. What I'm hearing too, and Jennifer, I think you can see it too. They have a heart to help people. It's not just transactional. It's not just about pounding to get the money. You're not coming from fear of, I don't have any business. I got to get a lead. I got to get closings. Mm -hmm. You're coming from heart. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So how many of you put in the chat, how many of you are individual agents, just put individual or put team, if you have a team. The reason I'm bringing this up as you guys put that in there is because you may think, I don't want a team. And for the most part, you probably don't want a team, but there's a moment in life that's, it's, it's just a moment when your parents get ill, when your spouse tells you that they have to move across country and you don't have business where you're going. And so if you have a team, you can empower your team again to live their best life. You can have just so that you can have more than one lender sponsor. You can have three sponsors total on the platform. And if you want to add more ad money, like Google AdWords or Facebook ads or whatever, I just recommend the Google pay-per-click. You can add more money and then split those into two lenders. You don't have to just pick one lender. You can also have other sponsors. Jennifer knows more about that than I do, but I just want to encourage you if you are a team and maybe you're not, your leads aren't, if they're just not dialed in, call your rep, call your rep, talk to them. They can do an analysis of what's going on with your ads. Many times that will help. You can up the budget with another sponsor. It's not about you guys paying for this by yourself. I am huge on this. Sync, I, they don't care. They're just, they do care, but- <laughs> They're just like, no, we want to help agents make money. But for you guys, it doesn't need to all come out of pocket. I know, Mary Kay, you have a couple of sponsors, but your main one is a lender, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then if she wants to dial that up, she, again, she keeps about four or five team members on her team. Let's say she gets five more. She has 10 team members. She can then increase that budget and split it with another lender. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Jennifer, what else did you want to talk about? Um, I think my last thing, you guys are in Asheville. Richard and I were looking at the stat again this morning. I think the NAR says that the average distance people used to move was around 15 miles. And then mm. since the pandemic, it's jumped up to 50. Um, and then we see that as a new opportunity, I think, with online leads, that people moving to a new state or a new city, like maybe they don't have a family friend there that's an agent. So it's a different buying cycle for them. So I was wondering if you could speak to in Asheville specifically, like best practices or what you're seeing works in terms of dealing with out of town or out of state buyers. I'll just toss to that one straight to you. <laughs> I think the best strategy for out of town buyers is I'm going to go back to just making that personal connection because they've never been here. So they want to hear about our experience, what it's like living here. And Mary Kate always tries to share videos on our YouTube channel. And we have resources to share with people from out of town to say, Hey, this is what it's like here. These are the, everybody comes to Asheville for uh, mountain biking, hiking, and beer. So it's, these are the top hits in Asheville. So I think being able to share a little bit about your unique market is really special for people. And then my biggest thing is just, when are you coming for a visit? I know that we've all been dealing a lot with the last couple of years of virtual showings and people buying houses sight unseen. And I don't want to go out on a limb and speak for everybody, but I'm pretty sure that's not anybody's favorite way to sell a house. So I always want to know when people are going to make a trip. And then that's also part of my vetting process is if you're not willing to make a trip out here and spend a couple hundred bucks on either gas or airfare or whatever, then how committed are you really to spending half a million dollars to buy a home? We have a lot of, of out of town leads here and really 
most because people come here for second homes. A lot of people are just moving here from other states and being a resource for them. Katarina is really exceptional at being a resource for everything for them um, and making that personal connection and going out of your way to contact them, to give them things of value. Even in that first phone call, if you can give them little valuable things so they realize that you're a resource and that you are of value to them, you'll differentiate yourself from the other agents who were just like, show me the money, show me the money, show me the money. Um, just making yourself making yourself valuable can really help, I think, with that. Can I say one more thing too? I was just thinking John McGilli McGilligan, thank you, asked what questions you ask when you're talking to a new lead. And I think it is so important to, I don't really talk about the house until somebody has made it very clear that that's what they, we've established a rapport. So like Mary Kay said, we have so many people that are coming from out of town. I want to know where do they live now? Are they renting? Are they buying? What do they like about where they're living? What don't they like about it? If they're looking to relocate, it's like just asking a lot of uh, questions like that. And like you said, that's, I think what differentiates you from any other agent who's like, okay, great. What kind of house do you want? three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square feet. What, oh, how much money do you have? Mm -hmm. That's not how we should start a relationship. <laughs> yeah. I saw a uh, question in the chat. I think it was from Melissa. And I just talking about if we're starting in a new area, sync is a platform that we flip the switch on sync in the area that you're in first. My philosophy is that there are 152 things to do to get one contract under contract from the beginning of the, the lead to closing date. And if you, it takes about 52 hours for one contract. And if you are looking to do a high level of production, that means only one contract per week, working 52 hours a week, which is a lot when you have a life and a, a passions and family and different things like that. And again, things happen in life. And I don't believe that you, the agent, got into business to do all the paperwork and do all the things. Now, some of you love that, but that's why we start team. That's why we start team to leverage some of that off so that we're not in it all the time. What we do if you want to move to a different area. So let's say I am in San Francisco, California, and I want to start a team in San Diego in Southern California. Now, I'm not going to go and move down there and start a team. I am going to find agents that are hungry, that want to join a framework and a structure with systems, complete systems from beginning to end. And I'm going to flip the sync switch there. So if you want to be in a different area, you do need different sync platforms, but you get your lender in that area. You get your mover, you get your inspector, you get your a homeowner's insurance representative. Title's not so good because of RESPA and different things like that. So, but your homeowner's insurance, they can sponsor that sync leverage as well. You have that hub of admin, transaction coordination, but it, it can also... If you want to start in several states, so I had six total and they were all in different states because my brokerage allowed that. So I was very, it was very easy for me to just flip the sync switch wherever I wanted to go. All I had to do was go to that area, interview agents, find the ones, hire them to be under my umbrella. Now, if you are in upstate New York where it snows all the time and you're like, I am done. I'm moving to Asheville, North Carolina where it's beautiful four seasons out of the year. <laughs> then that's something that you can do as well. Go to that area, look around. If you go, yes, this is where I wanna be. Go ahead and flip that, open a new sync account, find agents there to work it and say, hey, I got more leads than I know what to do with. You get all the leads. You give me 40%, you keep 60, whatever. We're not gonna get into the numbers because- it doesn't, oh, there's so much I can say, but it doesn't matter. I just feel like somebody needs to hear this. It never matters what your split is as a team owner. I see there's a ton of team leads here. It never matters what your split is. What matters is the outcome that your team member gets, right, Katerina? You don't care what your split is with Mary Kay, the, the team lead. 
you matter about what you take home at the end of the day. Is she giving you the coaching? Is she giving you the systems? Is she giving you the platforms that you can be a success with? So anyway, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> that was my rant. I love it. We have a good question in the chat. I think Mary Kay, you'd be a good person to answer this. How do you motivate your team members to make phone calls? I think we have an anonymous attendee saying they're always harping on it, but it feels like they're just not getting anywhere. So what do you do? Okay, here is a fun little game that y'all can play. Anybody who's making sync calls or doing any kind of sales that you can do. There is a little book called Go For No. If you've read that book, put that in the chat. I read this book a long time ago and I loved it because talk about a mindset switch. I was like, oh, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. The go for no idea, and I teach this to my team, is that if you are in sales of any kind, and every job is sales when you come down to it, every job is sales, you have to talk to a lot of people to get to the yes. Not everybody wants what you have. Not everybody wants to work with you. Not everybody that signs up on Sync is actually looking for a house. Not everybody is going to want what you have. Not everybody's going to move to your town. They're just starting to look all over the place. So the sync leads, there's a lot of no's in there, but there's a lot of yeses in there. There is so much business in there. We get hung up on the no's. The go for no game is decide how many no's you want. I'm going to sit down for this hour and make my sync calls. And I want to get 40 no's. And I'm not going to stop calling until I get my 40 no's. Um, the name of the book is Go For No. I don't know who wrote it. I, can't, I wrote it so long ago. I don't remember. But it's real short. You can read it in an afternoon. And the idea is that I want to get 40 no's and I will not stop calling until I get 40 no's. So then it changes every time somebody is nasty or hangs up on you or doesn't answer or says quit calling me or whatever they do or just says, no, thanks. I'm not really looking at Asheville. Or why are you calling me? All of all the no's that you get. You do a little, woohoo, I got another no. So it <laughs> turns into a celebration and a fun game you're playing with yourself instead of, oh my gosh, I can't pick up that phone again. I don't want somebody else to say that to me. Yeah. Instead, you're like, yes. And so you just make little tick marks. And by the time you've gotten to 40 no's, you've also gotten five yeses because you don't know who's who. This is what I always say to my team members. You don't know who's who. Don't assume that you know who's who. Pick up that phone and call everybody, even if they they say their name is Mickey Mouse, but if they give you a real phone number, call Mickey and have a talk to him because you just don't know who's who. And some of them will be your 40 no's and some of them will be your five yeses or whatever, you make up your numbers, whatever it is, but it makes it more fun. It gets you out of the terror and the fear and the horror and the like taking it personally into okay, good. That's not my person. Let's go see who is. And you just keep going. So I like for my agents to play games like that. Sometimes we do competitions. I must've been a, a team owner who was asking that question. Sometimes we do competitions. Sometimes we've done before, like we do each team member, somebody will pick a sync training once a week and everybody has to listen to that sync training. And then in the team meeting, we talk about the sync training, we see what we got from it and we play around with some of the concepts we learned. And then the next team member picks another sync training and anything like that can be fun to just feel like we're all in. Oh, we also do sync call nights. We'll go to the office and I'll order pizza. We'll do sync call nights. And everybody loves that. Everybody just loves it. Yeah, and you have silly trophies too that you get. You know, who gets the most nose? You guys could be giving a silly <laughs> trophy or, so, yeah. or a silly prize, and it goes yeah. from one person to the next. We had some silly, crazy toilet paper holder one time as a prize, <laughs> and nobody wanted it. And that was the funny thing. It was just like, but they got the prize. Right. I would like to add on to that just super quick that if you are a team owner, there is a moment where you have to have a boundary. So you've asked your team. To make the calls, they're not making the call. You've asked them again, they're still not making the calls. Guys, you have to have, as a CEO of a company, would that employee, if they were an employee, be able to stay in a job in which they did not do the work? No. At some point, and Mary Kay will stand by me 100% on this, you've got to cut the cord. You've got to let them know and have a boundary. I do stick to the three, time, three strikes you're out. After I have 
shadowed them. Maybe they shadowed me making calls. Do what I can to make sure that they are successful. But guys, there's some people that you can lead into the water, but you can't make them drink. And right. if you're pulling them around by the hair, that's not going to work either. So you got to just let it go. You will feel an immediate release of joy when you do let them go. Because that one person who doesn't do what you've asked them to do will ruin your entire team. All right, Jennifer. Love it. I'm looking for other questions in the chat. So if people have any more, go ahead and add them. But if not, maybe we'll transition to the end because Karen, there's a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a platform where you share your systems that you have all in one place, place where you can learn how your well-oiled machine works so that we can apply this to our well, team? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we have what I call my front end coaching program and it's called Making Agents Wealthy. And what that is, it's a 12 week. I don't believe in coaching for 12 months because it doesn't take that long, guys. It is a three month program because that's where I made 100K in 100 days. So it's three months and a little bit. You may have heard, if you've heard me speak before, I say success takes as long as you let it. And this is a moment where I know that it doesn't take that long. And each week you get a system that stacks, like Mary Kate said here, they're linear and they all work together. So if you're interested, we do not hard sell, don't care, don't care if you join, I don't care. If it's a fit for you, we want to have you, we want to help you because that's our heart. And if you want more information, you can go to karencoffee.com forward slash apply. And you can talk to somebody for about 30 minutes. And again, if we can't help you build your team or move into a team, then we'll send you to somebody else who can. Yeah. So karencoffee.com forward slash apply. Thank you. I was just going to say that building the team is the best thing I ever did. I was getting burned out on being an individual realtor. And um, when I came to Karen, I didn't really necessarily want to build a team, um, but I did because she told me to. Make more was, money and have a more life. <laughs> and I liked that idea. And I, I remember one time calling Karen and just going, oh, get it. I get it. Building the team is the greatest thing I ever did. I can totally see it now. And yeah, Karen liked I that. I remember moment. that day and she yeah. was over the moon. She was like, oh my gosh, yes. this is amazing. Now I yes. get it. Yeah. As leverage is life. That's right. It's I life. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Kay, what about you? Where can we find your team? What's your website if people wanted to reach out to you guys? Absolutely. You guys, my website is my sync website. It's the only website I have for my team. Mine is findashvillearealistings.com or you can get there by marycaderealtor.com. You can follow me on Instagram if you want at MC Mainwaring on Instagram. And then if you need to email me about something, it's marycade at townandmountain.com. Awesome. And so then if lastly, you have referrals to Asheville, guys, and you want Katarina to handle them <laughs> or Mary Kay to take the listing. Yeah. <laughs> Asheville, North Carolina is a big referral place. Lots of people are coming here. And we're happy to, to give y'all referrals as well from wherever you are. And then lastly, from the sink side, we obviously really appreciate our partnership with Karen Coffee. So we're offering a promo that includes our, our new guaranteed sales program. If you are currently a Karen Coffee client, this new guaranteed sales program basically provides teams and agents a risk-free investment um, by guaranteeing closed transactions. So it guarantees that teams and agents will fully recoup their investment and sets them on a path to six-figure earnings within 24 months. So if you have questions about that, I'll drop that in the chat if you're a current Karen Coffee client, or if you just have more questions about Sync, want to get in touch, I'm just here to help you guys. So all this great information into action. Karen, Mary Kay, do you have anything else? We've really appreciated having you guys on. This has been incredible. And I think everybody's gotten value out of that. So thank you. I hope so. I think that we, we just love being here. I love being here. I can't speak for Mary Kay, but I think she loves me. It's an honor. Guys, we're just one of the things we just, gosh, passionate to help, passionate to take life to that next level. And sync is a huge part of that. So they'll get you to six figures. Obviously, when we work together, we'll get to multiple six, just like Mary Kay did last year. So hope Love to hear that. from you if you need anything. Yeah. And, I, and also one thing I forgot to say, 
is that I was just checking over what's going on on my team right now. And everybody on my team right now either has something from sync under contract or just closed. And every one of them is working with active sync buyers right now. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. That's yeah, awesome. we love sync. It's <laughs> it really supports my team so well. Thanks, Jennifer. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Um, for check out Karen Coffee. Check out Mary Kate's website. And uh, we'll see you on the next webinar. All right. Bye, Thanks, y'all. Thank you, yeah, everybody. Bye. Bye.